Hello guys and welcome back to another video tutorial series on searching algorithms. Searching algorithms is one of the most important topics and you can expect a lot of questions on this topic during interview. So let's start with today's topic that is we have to find whether there exists a duplicate element in the array or not. So the question is quite simple and easy to solve and if you are a fresher appearing for an interview this is pretty much a common interview question that you can face. So on this question also I will be giving two solutions one is the brute force approach and the second one is the optimized solution and the best solution to solve this problem. So let's first start understanding the problem using our whiteboard session. So the problem statement over here is pretty simple and clear. So it tells that we have to find whether there exists a duplicate element within a given array or not. So here you can see over here we have the element 7. 7 is the element that is duplicate within this array. So let's start with our brute force solution. So the brute force solution to this problem is quite simple. What we'll do, we will iterate two for loop. One, starting from 0 to the end of the list that is n and the second for loop starting from the next element over here till the end of the list and we will check whether the two elements matches or not. So if the two element matches over here we can conclude that yes there is a duplicate element within the linked list. So let's write the solution to this problem. So let's name the method as check duplicate and we will return a boolean from the function. Here you can see we are passing the entire array as our parameter. Now what we will do, we will write two for loop, one starting from i equal to 0 to the length of the array and the second one starting from i plus 1 to the length of the array. And while we are traversing using two for loop, we will keep on comparing the two value over here that is a of i and a of j. So if the two value matches, then we will break the loop and we will return true. Means yes, we have encountered a duplicate element within the linked list. If not, we will keep on iterating. And at the end, we will return false. So if you see this approach and so the solution to this problem is quite simple and quite basic. So what we are doing over here, we are iterating using two for loop, one starting from i equal to 0 to the length of the array and the second starting from i plus 1 till the end of the list. And while traversing the list using two variables over here, we are keep checking whether the value matches or not. If it matches, we are returning true means we have identified a duplicate over here Otherwise, we are just keep on iterating till the end of the linked list. And if there is no duplicate over here, we are returning false. So this solution is quite simple and basic. Here you can see we are writing two for loop to solve this problem. Hence, the complexity of this program is order of n square, which is not recommended to solve a problem. So let's move to the next solution of solving this problem, that is the optimized one, where we will be solving this problem using a single for loop that is in single iteration. So let's move to the optimized solution. So let's start solving this problem using our optimized solution. So the solution to this problem using the optimized approach is also quite simple, tricky and yet effective. And we will be using this approach quite frequently to solve problems regarding searching algorithms. So let's start understanding the solution. So what we'll do, we will write a for loop from i equal to 0 to i equal to n that is the size of the array over here. And to solve this problem, we will be using an auxiliary space over here that is a hash set. So once we are iterating this loop, we will keep on checking that the whether the element present over here is also present in the hash set or not. So for example, for the first time for i equal to 0, we got the element 5 from the list. So we'll check whether the hash set contains the element 5 or not. 
So over here, this is an empty hash set. So the value 5 is not present over here. So we will add the value over here. Now for i equal to 1, we will again check whether the value that is 7 is present on the hash set or not. So it is not present. We will add this on the hash set. And we will keep on doing until we find a match. Now here for i equal to 4, we see that we get a value 5. And when we are checking whether this value 5 exists on the hash set or not, we see that the value 5 already exists in the hash set. Means we have already encountered the value 5 previously during iteration. And thus we are concluding that yes, there exists a duplicate element within this list. So let's try the function to solve this problem. So let's name this as check duplicate. So before starting the iteration, what we'll do, we'll first initialize an empty hash set, which will contain element of type integer, as it is an integer array. Now on the next step, we will start a for loop starting from i equal to zero till the end of the list. And within this for loop, we will check whether the hash set contains the value or not. So if the hash set contains the element of the linked list, that is the current element of the linked list, we will return true from here. Means we have identified a duplicate element within the linked list. If not, we will add that element within the hash set. And at the end, we will close the for loop and will return false. Means there is no duplicate exists within the linked list. So if you understand the solution, it is quite simple, clean and effective. And we will use this approach of using an external hash set quite often while solving the problem on this topic. So let's understand what we are doing over here. So here we are iterating a for loop starting from i equal to zero to the end of the list. And while traversing forward, we are checking that whether the value that we get from the current index already present in the hash set or not. If it does not exist in the hash set, we will keep on adding the value within the hash set and we will keep moving forward. As soon as we find a match within the hash set, means the current element of the array already present in the hash set, we will break the while loop and we will return true that means we have identified a duplicate element within the list so i think the solution is quite simple to understand but still if you find any problem in understanding the solution please do let me know in the comment section below there are plenty more approaches by which you can easily solve this problem so if you find any other solution that is more effective and more easy to do than this please let me know in the comment section below so let's move to the next question for our searching algorithms See you on the next video. Thank you.